morning everyone it's rachel here uh, actually it's just afternoon it's 12 30. i've got to get my video done before steph comes home um we are doing roxy's weekly challenge and today we are going to make floating pockets we're going to just do one style but you can adapt them in any way you want and maybe if things pop into my head we'll chat about that as i go along um i've made one so this is a floating pocket. This one is quite big, so obviously I would have that in a um, bigger journal. So you've got a tuck here to be able to um, put things in. So like, I need to make this, but I was gonna put that pretty postcard in there. And, you, and because it's quite a generous pocket, you could put multiple things in it. So I'm gonna take, um, I've got some of my background Christmas papers in the latest kits that Steffi did because you know like this part is writable so I kind of wanted it to be something that could be written on so I'm just going to grab a couple um, oh then they go that way so these ones are going to be good as well these might even be better because they're not we can do some narrower ones so let's take a few oh that one and take a few and use those to create our floating pocket oh, love that maybe we'll do that one okay so i'll put those aside and now what i want to do i'm going to need my trimmer to trim them down and i'm just going to have a think so i'm just going to take a third off i think for this one because this will be more narrow so i kind of want it to i'm thinking about the proportions so i'm going to take that bit off that i will use for wrap around pockets that's what happens with those pieces so that's that one this one i'm going to keep this bit here so i'll just take i'm just eyeballing it about a third i'm taking off of the um taller papers and of course i'm going to keep that bit there i have embroidered that flower that many times on the fabric i love it okay and then these ones are horizontal so I, I think uh, what I will do with this one is fold it. So I need to fold here. That's where my pocket's going to be. So I'm going to fold that over to strengthen it. And I'm going to work out my proportion to be about that. And so, no, that's too much. So you can refold. It doesn't matter. About that much. Because then this gets folded in. And you just you create a overhang so let's just have a look yeah like that and so you've got that's going to be the side tuck but it, I, well i can actually leave it that tall i might do one that tall i'll leave that one tall i might just trim the bottom off because it the printer didn't suck the paper in properly so it's got a little bit of white there just take that off you can trim top and bottom if it's not perfectly folded straight and this one I will trim down so I want that at the front so I need to do a little fold here because I don't want to lose my flowers and then that's going to be at the front like so and then I'm going to fold this in about doesn't matter how much of a little ledge that you have and I'll trim that off because I can use that for something else or I could even leave it and then you don't ever see any white. Just make that straight. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off and make it a bit smaller. There. And there. Okay. For a smaller journal. Very nice. That I can keep. That can be a belly band on something. Like, a you know, holding something together. So, okay. Put that, I'll put that over here in my garbage bin. And now we've got to do our gluing. Very, very easy. I was trying to find my um, my corner rounder. Oh, this glue is terrible. Something wrong with this glue is not well. So it was all shrunk and dried up and everything. So I won't use that one. Um, I was trying to find my, you know, I've got a, what was her name? One of those Project Life ladies. What was her name? The really Becky Higgins, is that her name? When I thought I might do Project Life, I had the corner rounder. I wasn't just horrendous at paper crafting. 
um, I still one day want to put all the photographs into the Project Life things because I think they're wonderful. But, you know, that's a huge task. I've got them all, like, not all, but I've got a lot printed down in a box, put into years and everything. Um, but I've never... I wasn't any good at doing the, the, the you know, the decorating. So, um, I found it quite stressful. But I did have the equipment. It was also... And I didn't have a lot of money at the time. Not that I have a lot of money now, but I had even less. Um, and I used to, when I could afford to, just, you know, buy the sleeves with the pockets and the, the Project Life cards and wait for sales and stuff. And, of course, with the ridiculous shipping to Italy. I did find a, actually, I did find a French website that I could buy them on, and that was much better um, than getting it for me from the States. Um, but, yeah, it was just, it's a very expensive thing to do, but a great way to store your photographs and story time. I really wanted to do it. I, I just wish that I had felt more confident to do it at the time now because a lot of the things that I would probably need to write about I've forgotten. It's got memory like a sieve. Okay, that's that. So I've got them. Oh, I haven't even folded those. I started gluing and then I hadn't folded. Okay, that's okay. This is where think about what's going to be at the front. In this case, I've got this they're all on the right hand side the front I did not follow my own rules and this is something that you can prepare a whole lot with your leftover pieces of paper and just leave them undecorated and and then have them in your to-do drawer or box or whatever and just use them another time so this is going to be narrow kind of so I'm going to not going to be that narrow, but narrowish. So line that up, fold it, and then just a little fold here. So we don't, yeah, just have a little, little edge in there. There we go. That's how that one's going to be. So let me glue that. So if I was streamlining, I would do all my folding, then I'd do all my gluing, and then I'd do my decorating, then I'd do my... Or no, first I'll do my corner punching, then my decorating. Okay. So just a little bit so I don't lose the pattern. And to be different with this one, I might do the um, tuck on the right-hand side just to have a different one. And I think this... Actually, you can just fold this over first. I think that makes life a bit easier than trying to line it up with the other edge. Yeah, that's easier. And then you can do your folding, your other folding, like this. See? Makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Oh, that is so pretty. So that's that one. And again, we'll do the same here. So my, excuse me, my little fold is here which means that's my tuck and my slightly bigger fold is the, the back bit. Let's fold this over so we're not making everything sticky. Like so. Oh, oh we're not going to lose all those flowers because they'll be peekabooing out. Very, very simple project, but really nice. And then that's see, you can see, oh, you can see those lovely flowers. Okay, so now we can take our wet glue, and I just need to glue here and here. Okay. So you can make the so you want to 
you want to um, obviously put your glue on the shorter end. If you put your glue on this end, you're going to have your glue right out there. So you want to do it on your shorter end. So I'm calling this a floating pocket, but it could also be classed as a journal card or, or tag with a pocket. It could also be classed as that. Unless you don't make it right, but that is totally writable, you see? This one's slightly bigger. I might even make it, I think I'll make it not quite so wide because it just limits me to having to put it in a bigger journal. And I probably should have trimmed that off because I could have used that pretty piece of paper, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. We live in the land of the paper and the printouts. Especially having Insta Ink, guys. If you've got Insta Ink with whatever, I have it with HP. But honestly, they, I mean, I, they just fill me up with inks. I never, very rarely run out. And um, I can just print, print to my heart's content. And I know exactly what my cost is per month. Not too many surprises. That's that one. So obviously these are big ones, and then we've got these smaller ones. Oh, this one, I think I've only done two or three, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's probably time to have lunch and feed the brain. Okay, so I classed, it. that could be the front or it could be the back. Uh, that, I, that mine, That's totally writable. So for me, that's the back, that's the front, but you could also have that as the front and that as the back. Okay. And we've done this sort of thing before. It's nothing overly new, but needs to be remembered. Um, looking for my punch. So I, I couldn't find my rounded punch, moral of the story. So I'm just going to use this punch. We know what I call this one. I won't say it. And then I might try the other one on some of them. I'll do this one with that one too. Now that will probably be slightly open, but it doesn't matter. As long as the rest is all glued down. Just sort of finishes it off, I think. But we can also do um, these kind of... We could also do this. I would choose maybe this medium sort of one. And do these kind of edges, which is also nice rather than just the fancy ones, the fancy smancy. And we could do kind of like that big one. Let's just see what the small one looks like. Oh, the small one's nice too. I probably wouldn't do the big one. Okay, and then we'll do this one on here. Oh, that one's not, oh, got stuck with the glue. You know me, I'm going to insist. Doesn't like that edge. Okay, I'll let that one dry before I punch it. Okay, so we've got our bases. I'm classing these as the front. And so then, that's upside down, that goes to the right. The next job, I don't know why that one, oh, there we go, got rid of that, is to add something to it. So the first thing I'm thinking is up here, I'll probably punch a hole up there and put some string or something through it. Now that you can write on with one of these thicker pens if you want to, or you could add a nice piece of old paper or straw paper, whatever you like. Um, let's see what I have here. I've got lots of paper here. As you know, it's the land of the paper. Like already here, I have this, this paper, not that one. We'll use just the, oh no, that's got an image on it. Hmm. So maybe I'll use that one. 
trim it down. Now maybe I should find a piece that's more suitable to the size just so I'm not wasting it. You don't want a paper that will fall apart. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. So what I would do here, this is the sand colored straw paper. Just, I didn't tear that straight, I can already see. But I would, attach that when I punch a hole I will attach that at the back or take the bottom off and then you've got a right nice writing spot but you might also you could actually put a photograph under there yeah so I'll put that aside let's just work on the front for now so now all I need to do is just make it pretty parody I have these pulled out and we can just see what else is in here. What fun things I might like to play with. My concern is I'm going to, Christmas is Christmas crafting is going to be over before I know it, and I'm just getting into the swing of it. So any of those, um, let's just pull it out and see. That's quite pretty. Um, oh, love that. That's going to go on one. That's one of my favourites. I just love the vibrant colours. She's lovely. Oh, and that's so pretty. Okay. And then I have these. I love these. Santa. Just going to pull out a few things I do also need these maybe that one. Oh, this is a good one just a little piece of paper that's left over okay I could use some fussy cuts but we'll just decide oh I love them and I love her. I love them all, but these are some that I haven't used yet that I really do enjoy. And I love these. Let's pull those out. Don't know if I'm going to use them, but just pulling them out just in case. And they're all horizontal, so I don't want those. And a few tags. Not much left over. Right. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to cut this out. I ask you all, how are you today? I hope you're all well. We are well. Just very cold. It's not, not cold in the house, but cold outside. See, I love that. I think I'm just going to put that on there. I think that's super pretty. Grab some gluing paper. Gluing paper, where are you? Use some of the... Oh, no, I'll use those for the big ones. So I'll do my embellishing part first and then we'll do some finishing off. Ideally, ideally it would be wonderful to fill them as well, um, but I don't think I'll get that done. I love that edging there, so I'm just going to move it forward like that so you can see that. I think that's just lovely. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm not actually going to add any more because that is very writable. So in that case, that could become that could actually become the front so pretty anyway I think I'll have that as the front now this is just gorgeous it doesn't need too much um, let me see oh they might be cute there let's just cut them out they've got a nice um, border around them so there's um, it's pretty they're pretty easy to cut out Okay, 
compass up all of that so I don't want to do that it would be cute there if we were to decide and I, I like the pocket on the front I don't know why now do I want it that way I think it's meant to go that way Them, I like them off to the side like that. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll trim that little bit off. And I'm not covering all of the roses, just some of the roses. So very simple decorating here. You don't have to do much. Okay, just slightly overlapping. Still see my pretty flower. Just be very careful not to trim that because that's our pocket okay very nice now this is a tall one again I don't think I want to cover the roses no it's going to cover too much these are super cute maybe put something like that no I could just have something like this or a Christmas one, but this, this, I, do, I could just put this one on. Let's see. I have to cut it out before I can really tell whether I want it or not. Yep, I think that's gorgeous, or well, that's quite nice too. <gasps> what do I prefer? You may have a preference. Do I prefer that or that? That or that? I think I'll go with that. Go with the first choice. Okay. That's that one. And then here, how many more? We've got two left. Oh, I wanted more. Oh, I probably should have put the label on that one because I don't need too much. Let me just cut this out. Whoops. Oh, I think that's so cute. I'm just going to take off this bit here because I don't need it all. And I like the difference in colours too. Like this is all yellow and reds and then this is just very wintry. Love it. Okay. And now here, I feel like I could probably use an image. That blends in too much. So I'm rejecting that. I'm not going to use a fussy cut because we've done that. I want to use one of these. So... I think I might tear them. Tear a bit more off this one. I may go and pull out my favourite one and see if that one will fit. Might not fit. Might have to go with this sort of size. But I think this one's going to blend in too much. The colours are similar. it would need to take a bit more off I don't mind that one um, oh what about this one okay I wanted to see this one but I will need to tear more off it because it's too wide because it's postcard size oh I think I'm going to like this one I do very crooked 
tearing there. Let's see. It's a bit better. Yep, I'm putting that one on there. Now, do I want to bring it down? Maybe about there, not quite centered. Okay, let's glue that on. You can come back and then put some faux on or actual washi or some um, doodly bits that you've done, whatever you like. Uh, I had a dry wet one here somewhere. There it is. Got a blob of glue there. Okay. Oh, I love that. Right. Next job. Thumbnail punch. Cool. Oh yes, this is good. I don't. I don't measure it. I just eyeball it. Oh, didn't do enough. Didn't do enough again. Well, that'll have to do because I'm not going to be third time lucky. Oh, these are so cute. I'm already thinking of something else I could do with these pages. Okay, and that's the front. Now, we need to finish them off. So what I'm thinking is to use these scissors. it over let's make sure it's all flush no this is not going to be a tab I'm just going to put it over the top you'll see and that's where I'm going to punch my hole so obviously you're going to lose a bit of height because you're going to have your hole punched that just reinforces it as well I'll punch the hole up. So you're going to punch a hole there. So obviously you're not going to have that space. You, it's, you have to make your item, you know, like that to fit. I just feel like it adds a bit more. I think I like this one on this as well. I'll cut that in about in half. Actually, I don't need to um, worry about the overhang because they're gluing flush right down onto the piece. And then I think I'll use the other bit on here. Now I don't want to, I might shorten it yep, just a little bit because I don't want to cover the, the rows so much. Nice quick little project. So what's going to go on these ones? I probably won't use that one. Pretty dark here even though it's in the middle of the day so this one is going to go here with the red on that side yes I like that and then this one I will get the red and the blue so the blue can go on the other side
That's the bit I forget to punch that corner. Just waiting for it to dry because it was getting stuck. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to try and do it now. Let's see. Oh, it did it now. Okay, good. Otherwise, I will forget. Okay, so my next job is to grab my crocodile. And you can put an eyelet in too if you want to, but I don't think I want to do that because I've reinforced. And I'm going to punch my hole as high up as I can because I don't want to lose too much real estate in my pocket. And then you can put um, string in there. Uh, baker's twine, whatever you like, nothing, just have it there just in case. Oh, I didn't add any paper on the back, but you can do that. Actually, it was for this one, so let's do that. I just wanted to show you that. So you need to, probably need to grab a paper clip. I've got, happened, so happened to have one here. Let's just line this up. I'm just going to trim my corners so they're not overhanging. Just line that up about there. Paper clip it so it stays in place. Now this is how you would add writing space to anything that you feel like, oh, how am I, what am I going to do that? I can't write on that. Well, you add it. Okay, so then you want, do want to get your string or whatever you're using. I just have string handy here. Or... No, maybe I'll use, that's going to be too wide. Just going through my mess of fabrics here. My baker's twine. That's a nice chunky piece of string. Where did that come from? Oh, look, it's never ending. Oh, what about this? Is that going to be long enough? I may struggle with it. love using up my scraps. So don't take your paper clip off until you've tied it because otherwise you have to line it all up again. Isn't that pretty? And so you can keep that extra bit too. I would fold it inwards. And we just have, and then we've got this where we can I might put her in there. I'll put the things in that I'm going to make up to put in there. So that's going to go in that one. And there, that's how you add your writing space. Um, and then these, I don't know. I'll probably put fabric in them. I think I like the fabric. Now, these are not quite as tall. I don't know if that's going to fit. I think I like that one in there. It will trim down. Oh, yeah, that'll fit because it's got to trim down. I like that one in there. Here's another short one. And that one can go in. What's up that short? In there. And then for these two, I think I'll make something taller to fit in them. I have over here. This colourful one will be nice. Put that one to go in there, and then you'll get the peekaboo of colour popping out the side. And then this one, I might put. Something like this one. I can make it taller because I'll put it onto old book page and I may narrow it down. That string is now getting in my way, but I like the colour. So that one will go in there. 
And then you can put old folded ephemera in there as well. Oh, that's upside down, ding dong. Cuckoo. So there we go. There is my little project. I hope you enjoyed that. They are floating pockets. Oh, besides the variation of adding writing space, so they're like tags or journal cards. Um, they're more a journal card shape. Oh, look at that writing space. We didn't look on the back, just a minute. Um, no, you could add another pocket there and have tags in it. So, or you can add more papers. You can add collaging papers on the reverse side. So you could have this paper, but you could also have more hanging down, multiple. And then you could take like a belly band or some string and tie it around it. So it just becomes a whole thing that's a standalone thing. So that is my project for today. I hope you enjoyed that. They're floating pockets with writing space. Floating pockets with writing space. So have a wonderful day and I will see you again next time. Bye.